Daily Devotion Read Genesis 50 19-21 When God is Silent By Jennifer A. Soon Whenever I am facing difficulties in life, Joseph is one Bible character I always go back to. It makes me wonder, did Joseph also think that his dreams were nothing more than mere imagination? Did God really have plans of bringing all those to reality? When he did the right thing and yet he was not delivered from adversity, did he also question why? When he was falsely accused of a sin he did not commit, did he feel that the world was unfair? And through all those years of waiting, did he ever tell God? God, say something. As a third person reading the story of Joseph's life, we may sometimes think, well, Joseph is a Bible character, so he knows God will answer. When we look at how his story unfolds. But we have to keep in mind, Joseph like us, is also human. Joseph's dreams were recorded in chapter 37, and pretty much the remainder of Genesis revolves around him. To say that it was just a short time is definitely not true. When Joseph was thrown in a pit, God seemed silent. He served Potiphar for around five to ten years. He was wrongly accused and sent to prison. Not exactly a fulfillment of what he dreamt about. He was forgotten by the cupbearer, who at that time seemed like his only way out of prison. He endured thirteen years of misery. Was God too busy with something else? Did he forget about Joseph too? Why did God allow things to fall apart? I don't know about you, but every time I reach the last chapter of Genesis, I rejoice with Joseph as he looks back to how God has been with him, and how he has faithfully kept his promises even through the adversities. We realize from Joseph's life that though God may be silent at times, he is still working. We cannot judge God's plan and involvement in our lives by the circumstances we encounter. Adversity sometimes drown out God's soft, still voice. In the midst of difficulties, we may ask, Is He actually listening? Even if God is silent, I hope we continue to trust in Him. Come to think of it, when the situation is beyond us, if we choose not to trust in Him, what else will we do? Reflection There is never an easy answer to why God allows adversities in our lives. What is He up to when we need to hear from Him so desperately? God may choose to deliver us right away. But often, God allows us to stay in our struggle to build our character and to fulfill His plan and purpose. How can you be joyful amidst your current situation? Prayer Gracious Heavenly Father, Many times in our sufferings we question if you care about us. We act as if we know better. Forgive us dear Lord, and remind us that nothing and no one is powerful enough to thwart your plan for your children. Amen. Some thoughts echoed from Charles Stanley's How to Handle Adversity.